Hello my dear friends, Karina here. I decided to make a video how to set up Vivo X100 Ultra uh, bot in Hina uh, to make it the least painful for the global user. Or maybe I should say how to set up the Origin OS. I will also say what works and what uh, doesn't. This kind of movie in my Polish channel uh, was uh, very helpful, so I hope they will be the same here. At the beginning, uh, you must to set the English language. Uh, of course, if you uh, get this phone or any other language that is available uh, in vivo. Uh, some stories offer to upload the Play Store right away and the phone comes set in English. In my case, it was like that at the beginning. But if you got the new phone, uh, you will need to set one of the available language at the beginning. Uh, from what I remember, there is English, uh, German, Russian, Spanish, French, Italian, Netherlands, Portuguese, and I think Korean, Chinese, and install the Play Store from the Vivo Store yourself. Okay, let's say at the beginning, uh, what is 100 not there? So there is no eSIM, uh, Google Map timeline doesn't work, and currently, since Origin OS 5, we have Android Auto on the XX100 Ultra, and all notifications uh, on the always on display without uh, combinations. And then, if it comes to, for example, watches with Wear OS, uh, that is like a Galaxy Watch. There, here may be a problem, because as far as I know, there is a problem with connections to these watches. I read somewhere uh, that you would have to install the Google, the Wear OS from the um, Play Store, and then where Chinese version of Wear OS uh, somehow sends it, and then it might be, but it might be a problem until the first update. But you know, I don't have a watch with uh, Wear OS, so it's hard for me to check. I myself use a Garmin watch. I also used Sunto, and here I had no problem. The other thing is uh, the issue of Google Assistant. The voice wake up doesn't work, but if you click uh, on the icon of the assistant, uh, it turns on. Mm, we can check it. What time is it? It's 3.50 p.m. Okay, uh, so this, so it works. Uh, but if you want to, it works as correctly as possible. Uh, you have to install, maybe we go to, uh, we go to settings. Apps. Okay, but this app is in Polish. I add a screenshot with the names of this app in English. And then banking apps also works. I have Alior Bank, uh, Bunku, I have Revolut and Wise, and everything works. And now the issue of Google Payments. You have to install Google Wallet, in my case is a portfolio because it's in Polish language. You have to add a card, then you have to go to settings, apps, app manager, and you have to set notifications and all permissions for uh, Google Wallet. In Origin OS 4, uh, even if I did everything like with notifications and permissions, I had to go to NFC, then tap and pay, and here um, I have to set Google Wallet service instead of NFC Vivo services. Now, in Origin OS 5, I don't see this option. Uh, 
there is only Google Wallet. I don't see this um, NFC Vivo services. So maybe this step is no longer necessary, but please check it for yourself. And now we move uh, to notifications. Actually, when you fire up this phone, notifications practically don't come at all. If you don't wake up this phone, if you don't use it. This is because Vivo has very restrictive these security conditions. If you want notifications come to you in real time, you have to go into apps, go into apps, app manager, and you have to set up everything for each applications you want to get notifications. So for example, we can take Allegro, and then first, pause up activity if unused. Then we go to battery life, high power uh, battery usage. Then we go to notifications. We have to allow notifications. And then permissions. Uh, they are apps like, for example, Garmin Connect. Garmin Connect, that you have to uh, set permissions to camera, calendar, SMS, phone. So you have to be uh, aware about it. So there we have locations, uh, don't allow. We have camera and all permissions like auto start, floating windows. And then local network. Okay. So you have to set up everything for each application. If you don't uh, have this done, notifications may not come in real time. And other quite interesting things, I did, um, I did all this for Gmail, but uh, I have no notifications from all Gmail accounts because I have uh, more than one Gmail accounts. So you have to go to, so if you want to get notifications from all Gmail accounts, you have to go to Gmail notifications. And here you have uh, your Gmail accounts and you have to allow notifications for each Google account you have. If you don't do this, you don't get notifications from all Gmail accounts. And it may also happen that despite fixing all this, you will continue to have problems with notifications. Then it's worth to enter the app behavior manager. We go to settings, app behavior uh, monitoring, and then you have to uncheck this function, app behavior monitoring. And then another thing, if you want some app not to close at 100%, it is worth to set padlock for such an app. I have a padlock here in the Garmin Connect. Okay, unlock, lock. I have it done for Aqua Battery and Garmi Connect because I want to be sure that this app don't close after a while. The another thing, we have a Vivo keyboard here and uh, I had this keyboard set up from the very beginning. Then I download the um, Gboard, but it wasn't everywhere. Uh, where I had to enter password, it uh, has the Vivo keyboard appeared everywhere. If you had the same situation as me, uh, you go to, um, you have to go system management and upgrade input method and you have to uncheck this security input. Then you will have the Google keyboard everywhere. Okay, now we can check if voice typing works, uh, but you know now my Gboard is set for Polish, so uh, I will speak in Polish. Sprawdzamy, czy działa pisanie głosowe. As you can see, 
it works, but it's in Polish. And then the next thing, Vivo has call recording, which actually works natively. Uh, it just works as if you set it up, you go to, you have to go to settings, then apps, system app settings, phone, and then we have call recordings. And here uh, you can turn on to have call recorded automatically, to have them recorded such as specific numbers or not recorded at all. In this European version, like in FantaJoes, of course, is not there. Uh, it is only in Chinese version. And now the issue of uh, unwanted apps, bloodware. I only installed most, most, most of these apps uh, that were available, uh, the Chinese ones on the Vivo from my phone. It is available. Uh, so now I don't have here this app, but I also plugged uh, my phone to uh, ADB app control, but most things in total can be done from the phone. I will leave a link in uh, the description uh, to a video from the Traditions and Store. Uh, there is shown step by step how to do it. And now the, the one thing, if you need to use uh, a language other uh, there is available in Vivo, you can use the Set Edit app. Uh, is this app? This is the application that we change the language of the applications from the Play Store. Uh, the menu and the camera app uh, will still remain in English. Uh, so I use Polish language and Polish language is not available in Vivo. So I can use this app to set Polish in my apps uh, from Google Store. We have to find um, system this position edit and now you have to enter your code the specific code for the the, the your language uh, restart the phone and uh, everything is ready and the link to the video how to use said edit i will also leave in the description because it's also available on tradic shenzhen um, youtube channel so there is i think the most important things I would like to tell you. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, please leave a comment on the, on the comment section below if you, if you want to. And of course, I encourage you to subscribe my channel and I, we will see in the next videos. See you.